Hello. Uh, today we're doing some examples from the book uh, that have to do with finding the molar mass of a compound. And I'm going to run through a couple examples, but for finding a molar mass, I'm taking this compound, like in this example, uh, NH3, uh, which I believe is ammonia, and I'm going to figure out how much one mole of NH3 uh, ways or or what the mass is. Ma it's better to say mass. Uh, and I'll go through some examples just like the setup here. Uh, but this is actually even this picture shows you um, of the quick way of finding the molar mass. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Good morning. Today we're going to be doing a little practice with um, finding a molar mass. So what we're trying to do is figure out how much mass, or if you want to think of it as weight, uh, how much mass one mole of a particular um, compound is. So we're going to be looking at these here, and they have an example up here, CO2, figuring out how much one mole of CO2 is. And they run through the example and one mole of CO2 ends up being 44.01 grams. Um, and that's what we're gonna do down here. We're just gonna practice this, because this comes up a lot, and uh, sometimes students forget how to do this. So uh, it's an important concept, though. Um, let's take uh, the first example right here. Um, number two, nitrogen molecule. So I want to know how much one, one mole of N2, or nitrogen gas, is, okay? Um, in order to do this, I need to have a periodic table. So I got my periodic table back here, and I need to find nitrogen. And nitrogen on the periodic table is right there, N, nitrogen. And you see this number down here. The atomic weight, 14.01. Uh, that's saying that one mole of nitrogen by itself, one mole of nitrogen atoms is 14.01. But in my example, how many nitrogens do I have? I have two nitrogen atoms in nitrogen gas. So I'm going to need two of those. So if one mole equals 14.01 grams, one mole of nitrogen, then two moles of nitrogen is going to be uh, double that. So what would that be? 28.02 grams? So all I did was I took two, I timesed it by 14.01, and I got my answer there, 28.02, okay? Uh, now let's get a little bit more difficult. So let's get a problem that has um, more than one type of atom in it, okay? And I believe if we look at the next one, methane, that has one carbon, and four hydrogens. So let's do that one now. So now we have CH4. Okay. I'm going to go back to my periodic table here because I need to be able to reference that. And I see that carbon has an atomic weight of 12.01. All right. Now I only have one, I only have one carbon, so one mole of carbon equals 12.01, uh, but I have more than one hydrogen, so how many hydrogens do I have? There's four hydrogens, so I'm going to have four moles of hydrogen. Uh, now, each hydrogen, if we look here, is 1.008. I'm just going to round that to 1. So I'm going to have to take my 4 
times one, and that's gonna give me a total of four. So I add my four to my one mole of carbon, and I get 12.01 plus four is gonna equal 16.01. That is my molar mass. of CH4 or methane. And that's the same thing that you're gonna do uh, for all of them. You just have to figure out what's the atomic weight of the one element, and then figure out how many of those elements that you have. So you're gonna get some practice. The example in the book is good, and then you can always see me if you have more questions. All right, thank you very much.